pink and blue. So here we are, or at least I'm here. I'm having some very weird, wired, incoherent thoughts, so I just want to make a note of them. Get them out, arrange them before I go to sleep, find some sort of common ground on which to build something meaningful. What are you writing? I don't know. Yes, we are writing in order to make sense of sentences. What have we been reduced to now? Not being able to produce a single fraction of peace to any of the so many seemingly untenable strings of words as the ones that has just occurred for the first time in human history? Hey. What? It just changed. Out here on the very leading edge of evolution itself, the edge of my bed. I don't know what's happening, or what I was trying to say when I set out on this current mission in the first place. I can see that it has grown, but, but what is it? What is this discussing? What is this talk about? Instead of asking what one and everybody else is talking about, it could be a smart idea to just go to bed, let this writing wash itself up whenever it, the writing, might feel like calling it a day. Remember that time in the shower? It was so hot. And afterwards, we sat on the warm orange floor and talked about life and had so much of it. Life right at our fingertips, so it was no use talking about it, of course, no use talking about it. But we did talk about it anyway, because it made us feel so good, so good. You know how it feels like when it's good? To just live and converse about just about anything and find it all so essential and unraveling, yet it isn't. And that's what makes it so delicately revealing, to find the essence of life in bubblegum if you may. Like pink and blue, like I like you and you like me too. When you have that one woman, you can hold her hand, and for a split second you awaken from the illusion, only to get drawn back into it, back to the fear. So, note to self, this does not need to be edited at all. Think tanks, Robin and Blanks, the ever most blank space that has appeared here on this page in this very unique code in cyberspace but it disappeared to some other galaxy somewhere some other where there here you see and someone then shouts from above i'll have you understand that this man here he could be anywhere with any old plan and it would be s s fine you know hear what i'm saying because god is watching over this whole event making out every single move every single move towards is bound to be love and that is exactly why it should be headed. Because it isn't for me, you see? Mm, some strange words had to come into this fine piece. Do you want one thread throughout the entire narrative? That would be difficult, if not highly unlikely. Unlikely in and of itself, because all of a sudden you'll just collapse due to the fact that you're so tired. And they do, do have grip on you, goddammit. So what are you to do? Paranoid Willy, what are you gonna do? I don't know, Cancer. Fairly squarely, don't know, to be honest. Heaven intervenes. Honest is all one can ever hope to be. So, Mr. Make Believe Bush and his underpants crew, they can't be new to you. They are the ones who really turned me on when they first turned me on to the thing of the thing in which the turning them flipped and it became a new sort of writing where one was very familiar with Lavana. Either on her or. Uh, yes, you'll have to be on her. Which is to say, to be acquainted with her touch of love. Because without her, this would make no fucking sense, no fucking sense at all. So to all of you people out there not turned on to the passion that is Lavana, is this gibberish? Or is the essence of who I really am? Is there light shining through me in this final hour of this fine trip where I've had to strip myself of so many judgments? I've had to really investigate the fear of being stuck still, still stuck. Fear of what I'm going to do. Is my life just falling to shit and shit rinse? Is it all falling? Falling at all? Failing in the simple sort of art of sailing? What am I doing? What am I thinking in this ocean of hours that I'm all the time drinking? Thank you, Bob. All these thoughts are trying to gain ground, but you know when they're around just waiting to slip and drop down, so you kick them in and drown them out in mindful breathing, mindful walking, mindful talking, mindful life. All so simple, really. Live, live again. Then live again, then live again, and then do it all over again. Stay sound.